Hello. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Oh no, it's Monday. I'm sorry. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Sorry. I get I lose track of days and time. And anything else I can't find, like my keys or my glasses. I lose. Right. I was just waiting for some people to come in because it's they're still going up. I'd just like to say welcome to everyone on X who's here and on YouTube. If you're watching on replay, if you like what you hear and see, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please go and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny. It'll just let you know when I'm going live again. That's all it does. So if you don't want to miss out on any future lives, please go and subscribe. If you're on X, give me a heart, show me some love. So, oh God, what a weekend. I've had a very lazy day. Very lazy, wow. So, so lazy day. I was up early for some stupid, stupid fucking reason. I don't know what. Oh, I do. I remember. Someone hit my doorbell. And it come up on my phone. And all I got was this, like, a body with n no head sort of thing. The head was covered. <laughs> and I thought... Am I, am I how getting up to answer that door? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, it was about six o'clock in the morning. I thought, you can go feck yourself. But then once that happened, I couldn't get back to sleep. So I was up about seven-ish. My cats weren't happy because they normally sleep in with me. So that was up early. <laughs> So I ended up going for a little sleep this afternoon about after lunch, after I had some lunch. So about one-ish, half one. Woke up about three-ish. Did some research on what we're talking about tonight. And then just chilled out. So what you all been doing? I know, um, I believe it's next weekend, I don't know, first, first to June is today, second thing, I think it's next weekend, it's the, um, USA, after, oh God, what weekend is it, I'm bad for remembering, I really am. Well, if you're in the USA and you're doing any celebrations, please be careful, stay safe. Don't go to any of these, like what they call pop-up parties, if you're young enough to go to those. And to be honest with you, if you are, then you shouldn't be on this channel. No, joking. But just be careful. Just be careful when you're out there. Even to those in the UK, even if you were not celebrating anything, but if you're going out anywhere, just be careful. If you go out with someone, come back with that person. Don't leave no one behind. So, let's have a look. Who are we here for tonight? Oh, yes. How could I forget this boy? How could I forget him? Jay Slater. Oh dear. Well, as we found out yesterday, the search has been cancelled, has been concluded. But the investigation is still ongoing. So I don't know what they're looking into. 
I don't want information I found out, if any. I know um, his mother and father was going to speak to the police today over there to see what was happening. But as I said, I never for one minute really thought he was up there because it just did not make sense. The only reason I thought he was up there was because of that woman saying she saw him. And because those two guys said he was here. He left, he had a smoke, he came back in, grabbed his stuff and said he was going home. Going back to his apartment. Now, why would I feel I should trust what they say? The two guys, I don't know. So why would I trust them? The woman, I don't know. But what has she got to lie? Right, what has she got to lie about? But then again, we look at these kids today, and with the same hairstyles and all this stuff, this, if you don't know someone, it's very hard to say, to say, yeah, I saw him, that was him, you know what I mean? So perhaps he did see someone, it just wasn't Jay. Because that lad you come out, Brad? Hmm. Hmm. If that's a friend, then you, you're you better off having... <laughs> what is he? I'd rather have... Fred, uh, what's that saying? I can't think now. There's a saying, but I'd rather have enemies than a friend like him. At least you, you know where you stand with your enemies. They hate you, don't they? But with friends like that who or pally pally, but then wanna, don't want to help when something happens, that isn't a friend. That is not a friend. So, is the search going to go down the south? So, right, I'm still waiting for people to come in. They're still coming in. Is people coming in? As I said, if you're on X, please come and join me over on YouTube. Sign up. Subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And YouTube is a really great place to be as well. It really is. You get so much information from YouTube. But then again, you do have a lot of channels <laughs> that is like, not crime, but crama. I call them crama because they, they say they're for crime, but they're all more, they're more drama. So we call, I call them crama. And they just get out to have a go at anyone. I'm sure my turn will come soon. Sure it will. But I stay away. I don't get involved with those channels because if I want to watch drama, I can go and look, well, just look outside my window and I'll see drama all day long where I live. <laughs> all right? You've only got to walk out your front door and you've got drama. So you don't need to come on YouTube and watch drama. So, what's everyone's opinions on this? Leave me a comment if you're on X. Let me know. You can leave, put a comment, and it'll come up on my stream here. You just won't see the comments of anyone on YouTube. But I will see your comments. I should do anyone. Let's just see. Mm -hmm. Can't post comments to some destinations. Okay. Because I never had one over on who was watching on Twitter all a while ago. And she's going, I can't see the other comments. And I went, and I suddenly clicked to you. I said, Are you on X? She said, Yeah. I said, Get on your YouTube channel. You can't see my comments. The comments if you're on X. 
but you can't comment. So please come along and comment. Well, you should be able to comment. And I should be able to see them up on my screen. Because I've got all oh, it was saying can't post comments to some destinations. You know, I can't post comments to X. No. But X could should be able to post to me. Hang on, let me see. Post. Hmm. Isn't that funny? I can post to most other social network sites apart from Instagram. Um, Instagram and Twitter. I can't post chat platform support. Hmm. Okay. So let's try and catch up with some new info. Uh, we're going to TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. What do you got thought of that now for this? You know what I mean? What do you thought of this? See what down the rapids. People was worried about this guy because he hadn't been on for one day and it's, it just says he is uh, this like oh god oh god, god. I hate this app I always has trouble uh, No. Right. This is um just search it to here. Oh dear. I wish when I clicked on some or opened some it automatically share it, you know what I mean? But this guy, he is staying. He's staying there. He's going to book for another two weeks. Right, he's staying for another two weeks. So let's get up here. And I'll put the sound on for you all. I wasn't active on social media. I got a lot of things sorted that I need, needed to get sorted. I sorted out a lot of things that haven't been sorted from the UK as well. But what I have done, guys, is I've said from day one, I'm going to stay here until we find Jay. And I mean that, guys. I'm going to do my best. I really am. So what I've done is I've spoken to my guy who's renting me the room. And he's supposed to be going on holiday in a few days, guys. He's supposed to be leave accommodation. And he's let me pay for an extra two weeks. Um, and he said he's going to go on holiday after that, which is awfully kind of him. It's really, really kind of him. And then after that, I'm going to reevaluate things. I'd have to find somewhere new to stay. Um, but we'll come to that in two weeks. So that's my plan for right now. Moving forwards, a lot of new things have come out due to interviews, et cetera. And there's quite a few things I'm going to chase up today as well. So yeah, just an update, guys. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, the police announced that they are ending the search. Now, to be honest, we knew this was going to come. And we hoped that it wasn't going to happen so soon. But this day was coming, guys. Now, a lot of people have turned to me. Right. Yes, we knew that. We knew it was coming. Right. But two weeks searching in rough terrain like that. Right, um, let's have a look. So, searching in rough terrain like that, isn't that Google, Google research, Google Maps? It's not easy. 
and I think I was, I think I felt a bit despondent because when they put the call out for. Searchers, volunteers, right? Only six people turned out. But the thing is, I was asking for people who was, who had experience of working in terrain like this. You know what I mean? You had experience of working in a terrain like this. Because I wouldn't want. But if I was a mother, I would be leading the pack. I really would. And I wouldn't be waiting around for someone to say, right, well, we're just going to have a, a press interview. No, no, no. My son is out there somewhere. I'm going. Bye. Who's coming with me? I'd be gone. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be hanging around half the day. These people, these mountain searchers, should have had a plan of action done every night, ready for the next day, so that when they got there, they could download the stuff, get all the stuff together. Don't do the jelly bag, go, oh, do we need this, do we need that, do we need this? Just put your stuff together, put it on your fucking back, and go. Don't mess about, right? But this is rough terrain, and it's up, and, and it's very steep. Very steep. Right? So from, from the Google Maps, it looks f fairly flat, you know what I mean? Well, it isn't. It? It's really... Steep. Rugged. And very hazardous. Right, you've got to get all the way down this into that crevice. Right, you've got little towns there on these hills, and this is going up the hill now. You know what I mean? It's not easy. Look, look at this. This is not easy to do. So. I would, I wouldn't like to have to do it, but if it's my child I was looking for, then yes. But then knowing that, if a friend of his come out 10 days later and said, well, I did do a video call with him and I saw him going down this path, I would have sl feckin' slapped him, feckin' silly. You know what I mean? You mean to tell me you've had this info for 10 days and you've not said a word? Right? That's why I don't believe his story. I don't believe that his version. And someone else was talking about Lucy May today and they're saying her story just fell apart. Because first of all, she said in one interview, 8.30, the phone call. Then in another interview, she said 8.15. And then in another interview, she said 8.50. And I thought, yeah, I picked up on that, mate. I picked up on that. Right? It did not make sense what she was saying. So, it, and then for this lad to come out and say what he said the other day, look at that. It is not for the faint-hearted. You know what I mean? So if he's gone down here, say, so he didn't get to the top of that mountain. Right? I wouldn't like to drive around this road, I'm really looking. No, they have got pullings, you know what I mean, on bends. And you can't see other cars coming up. 
and now I can see your cars coming down. Right, so say you got to say, let's just say. Yeah, move over the red car. I don't know, just say you got to. Where's that bit of a dirt track I saw? Oh, yeah. Say you got to here, right? And you thought, you know what? I'm going the wrong way. And I am not walking all the way down this road again and decided to cut down. Right? You can see, oh, hold on, I'll see if I can get a better angle. You can see, you may think that's it comes to the bottom, it doesn't, it goes down, right down. And I wouldn't want, I wouldn't have to, like, to have to go down there. I really wouldn't. But someone was talking yesterday. I meant to mention it last night. All right? And I'll show you a better one here. Right? On this one. That sees out where we're staying. Right here. Right? Apparently, on, on the map she showed, this map, it was somewhere round about here. Round about here. There. Somewhere round about there. Might be here. Could have been here. Right? But in that general area is the area that apparently, again, Lucy May said, the last signal from his phone came. I'm going, hold on, hold on. I'm getting confused here. I thought it was in this area. I thought his last uh, ping of his phone came from. I don't know, I'll zoom out a bit more. This area. You know what I mean? But then when I was watching some yesterday, they said the last pink, apparently Lucy May said the last pink came from round about here. Right? Somewhere around this area. So what is it? What is the truth? We don't know the truth. And all we, the only information we know is what's been given to us by Lucy and but now by Brad. Right? That is it. And are we supposed to trust what they say? No. Because how would freeze over before I believed a word that come out of that Lucy May's mouth? As soon as I read the go from me, I thought, that is not right. Something is not right. And I didn't trust her then. As soon as I seen that go from me, I thought, don't trust you. Right? But it's like, this woman also had, oh, hang on, I want to see, see something. Oh, oh come on, map. Right. Now, she had like, uh, like a, oh, I can't think now, get off. She had like a red line going here and a line going here, where we could have, where we could have walked. But why would he go off the road there when the woman said she saw him walking up the road about 15 minutes later? 15 minutes later, could have got him to, what? Yeah. Oh. Here. Yeah. Because I've also been told that apparently this is where the phone last pinged round here. So what are we to believe? Did the phone ping in this area?
Di Sevia? Di Sevia? Oh, here. Yeah. What are we supposed to believe? We've had three different times from Lucy May. We've had three different ping locations. So what is it? I don't... If his body is found up there, right, I do still do not believe he went up there alive. This is just my opinion. Go and read all what you think. Read all the articles. Watch some of the videos. Right? I truly don't think he, he went up there. Right? Because he was last seen. Where now? Hang on. I'll come up. Oh. Well, this is where the music festival was being held, round here. Right? I'm going to go. Let's see if I can get down here. I don't know where the music festival is being played. Oh, I'm not explained. <laughs> All right. But no, I don't I know it was in. It was there. In this area. All right. He was last actually seen. Um, where am I? Oh, yeah. Here. Right, this is where he was last seen here. On the night time, on the Sunday night, early hours in the morning. Now, did he come out of there? Walk down here. And is this the beach that, that we saw that argument happening in? Possibly. I think it's more this beach. For some strange reason, I think it's more this beach that the argument happened on. I don't know. Because... But then again, it could have been this one. Because there is a curve. You know what I mean? I said there was a curve because you could see it in that water when on that video. So it could have been that one. Let's see what we get down here. Let's just have a look. So you've got these little bushy trees as well. So it could have been this bushy things. So it could have been this beach. Right. Let's see if I can get on the beach. Let's plonk ourselves. I'd say about there. Are we on the beach? Yes, we're on the beach. We're on the beach, everyone. Right. Now, could this have been where the argument was that was filmed and heard? Possibly. You know what I mean? It's either that beach or the one further up, I'd say. If it's the one further up, I think he's probably making his way home. But it was on this beach, over at this place. Where is it now? That the argument started about the watch here. Right, this is the place where the argument started about the watch. So 
So, so that, if this is the place where the argument started about the watch, I'd say that bitch over there where we was just on. Why? Is the place. A bit sl slagging a bit. I know it's not up to date now. Right? So I think if the argument started at this place, then this. Let's just try and get a bit, not on the beach, but over that way a bit more. Right, there's the place, right? Now, I think if the argument started there, I think the fight was on this beach. It was on there. And I think things like his phone, his glasses, sunglasses, are purposely being planted up in the hills to throw us off. I really do. If he is up there, he's not alive. And if he is up there, he didn't go up there alive. You know what I mean? But someone also said, right, Rolex, Rolex watch, was he? Apparently, that's um, a code word for G-R-U-G-S. I don't know how true that is. Possibly, because it was rumoured that he'd lost some of the D-R-U-G-S and the rumour is he stole some someone's watch. So they could be saying he stole the D-R-U-G-S and that's why the fight was about. Because you heard her say, you said you wasn't going to stab him. So, it's, I think I need to get Lucy, but Lucy, I don't know if Lucy is still over there. But I think I need to question that lad. Right, I really do. Because he's the, I'd say he's the weak link. He's the weak link. Unless he's involved with the, D-R-U-G-S. If he's not involved with that, then he's a weak link. Because if it was me, I'd be going, am I my how going down for some of that egg dog? You know what I mean? Am I my how? And I would swing, sing like a buggy. King Harry. No, why would I be going down for some at Lucy's done? Or anyone else's done? But in that little video, it showed someone limping. But it also showed someone sitting on the ground. Now, what I'd want to know, I'd be checking hospitals. Had anyone come into a hospital with a leg injury or a knife wound? I'm not saying it would be Jay, but anyone else. You know what I mean? That would be my... See, now, if these videos have come out, you know, apparently there's a link and I can't find it. 
where they have a webcam to I think it's at that at this place up here. They've got a webcam and it's uh, open to the public and you can log into it. Uh, where is it? Yeah. At this place up here, there's um, a webcam somewhere around here that is open to the public. I've been trying to find a link for it, but I can't. But I was watching someone last night and they had it. Uh, to be honest with you, I should have written it down. However, on the night that this all started, on this Sunday night, Monday morning, right, that webcam video, that, right, is not up. It's not showing. They are, there is another one on the 6th of June. Is it June? Yeah, it's 6th of June. is not up here, that. And this one... When he went missing, is not up. Now, is that because the police have got that as evidence of something happening? And is that why they now thought, you know what, he didn't go to those mountains, not alive. And that, that's probably why they could have called the search off. But I've had it since that day. That video has not been up at all. That webcam of that day has not been up. And this webcam runs 24-7. So... Be interesting to know whatever cities do that. What did Birmingham do it? You could catch some things in Birmingham, I'll tell you. But no, they've got a webcam somewhere around there. No, has it got. And because it's not being shown on the, on the itinerary of all the days, has it got evidence on there of Jay? Or something else happening. I don't know. So it'd be interesting to find that out. I'm going to have to try and find that. Right, let's just get this full screen. You don't need me on here. I'll just go down to the bottom. Um. Let's get this up. Take that off. But what if something did happen to him? Right? What if, my opinion, my thoughts, the quickest way to get rid of a dead body on a beach? What's the quickest way? My thought would be, get a weight put on him and get him out. Or just push him out, go out as far as you can, walking out with him and push his body out. You know what I mean? That would be my plan. If I ever did anything like that, which I would never. Because if, if law enforcement ever went through my phone, or my laptop, I keep saying this, they will grab me, especially where I live, they will grab me for every murder, every assault, every sexual assault, every robbery, <laughs> you name me. That my name would be the top of their list. And if they could only get into my brain, then I'd be sent down to the loony bin. 
But that would be my plan if something happened on any of these beaches. Right? Because it's not that far a walk from there, along here, to here. And then if you carry on round, carry on straight round, you come to his, uh, where, he where he's staying, which was, oh, I'll get it on maps. Here. So you've only got to follow that road round, and it'll get into there. But then again, why go that way? I mean, you could, I'd probably cut the streets. You know what I mean? I'd go the road ways. <laughs> But then again, it all depends how bad my feet were hurting. If my feet were really hurting, I'd be going along the beaches. But can you get round this way? Yeah, you can. So you could walk all the way along that beach. I mean, it's a bit rocky and stony. But you can walk all the way round. See where he is, which is where, where are we again? Yeah, could it be in this beach? I mean, or even this beach, because look at the curve. That's what I'm thinking. It's the curve. If you look at that video, there's a curve in the beach. Uh, the tide comes in so it definitely happened around like that side of a beach rather than that side because the curve is going that way it's going to the if you're standing on the beach it'd be going to your left you know what I mean Let's just see if I can pull that up. Uh, let's see if we can pull it up again. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is about the sunglasses. So a pair of sunglasses have turned up. But apparently, uh, down the rapids, that guy, Paul Arnott, he lost his sunglasses. Right. Let's watch this one. Oh, yeah. The call went out the day before for people with experience of searching in areas like that. 
You cannot give people like that 24 hours notice. Right? But then again, I'd be going, I, I haven't got no experience, but I've got willingness. She had, they had all their friends and family brought over. So why couldn't their friends or family go up and help? Come on. Got other people going out there risking their lives. Uh, well, let's see what else. Okay. Uh. Mm. It's... I must admit, nothing new is coming out on TikTok. Oh, I've got a question. Right? Now, see this here. Right? See this? That is apparently a blanket that they gave him for when he went to bed. Apparently, this was told by Brad. How would Brad know that? How would anyone who wasn't in that Airbnb that night know that? I wouldn't have known that unless he told me. Oh, what's that you got wrapped around your legs? Oh, it's just a blanket I had last night. You know what I mean? But he wasn't on a phone call then. He, that was just a Snapchat picture that was sent. At what, 7.30 or whatever it was in the morning. Right? So how would they know that is a blanket they gave him to sleep with? You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't know that. There's nothing new coming out. Nothing. Which is a good thing, really, because hopefully... Right. They'll start getting the truth. Actually, actually, from Las Cristianas to me, it's a 38 minute drive and an 11 hour walk. So I don't know where we get the 15 minutes from. That's an extra 12 minutes. But I could take him right up here if that was the case. Take him anywhere up here. You know what I mean? Sorry. 
That is a 38 minute drive. An 11 hour walk. Now, when I was at his age, we used to do, they used to have this walk a right? And it was a bus route they had in Birmingham. And it was called the Outer Circle, number 11. And you had one bus go one way and one bus go another. And you just, they just went round and round and round. Right? And it was actually something like, oh, something like 26 miles. Well, actually, it was more than 26 miles if she was on the bus. Because when you did the walk, they did it so that you followed the bus route, but there were certain parts where we cut off a big corner off that bus route. And it was a 26-mile walk. And hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in Birmingham used to do this yearly. First year I did it, right, I got about, <laughs> so far, and I couldn't walk no more. I got about three quarters of the way there, and I think my dad was expecting the phone call. Because there's like myself, my brother, I think my sister was with me. There's about five of us. So my dad come out and picked, picked us all up, right? The second year we did it, we was like 18, no, 17, 16, 17. But we was doing a pub crawl. And we was, going, we was hitting every pub on the route. How we got home that day, we do not know. But we did the walk. We did that 26 miles that day. Right, but every pub we came to was stopping and having a drink. Even if it meant having to cross over the road, which we weren't supposed to do. But we was. We'd cross over the road to go to the pub. Right. And the pubs weren't going to turn us away. They were making money that day with people coming past. So if I could walk 26 miles when I was, what, 17? Right, I could have done it when I was 19, but they stopped doing it by then. They stopped doing it. Right, because they changed the route too much, and people didn't like the fact that they was changing the route. And messing it all up. So, after a while, people just stopped doing it. So, they stopped doing it by the time I was 19. But I'm sure when I was 19, I could have walked those 26 miles. Right? And it would take me all day, but I'd walked it. I know my husband used to do it as well. This was before I met him as well, because I've got photos of him. Well, one photo which I've got up on the wall now was taken when he did the walk. You know what I mean? So, he was what? If I was 18... I did the walk 17, 18, 17, because I know I wasn't old enough to be in the pubs. So I was about 17. He'd be 27. He'd be 28. He'd been 28. So if he was doing it at 28, 29, right, my husband wasn't that super fit. He really wasn't. He never hit a gym. I don't even think he knew what a gym was. <laughs> Right? So, unless it had a bar in it, I don't think he'd ever go to a gym. But he did it, and he was 28, so I'm sure he could have walked it. If he had, and there's plenty of places along that route to have got water, or something to drink, or something to eat, he could have done it quite easily. But then why do that nowadays? He could have got a taxi. Why didn't his friends say to him, get back up on the road, I'm going to phone you, taxing out, get back to that place where you was, walk, carry on walking, back down the road, not up the road, go down the road to, walk, to where you came from, and I'll get your taxi coming up. Wait there for the taxi. Why? This is why I don't believe 
и стерлай. And how would you know he wouldn't have gone all the way down there? How would you know down there? How would you know how far down there was? Down there could have just been, I don't know, a two-minute walk. Has he been up to that area? Has he seen the ruggedness? Or is he just going on by what people are telling him? Look where I am. So did he show you a photo? Did he show you his sc the screen? Or right, timing him. Did he turn his screen round so he, he could show you where he was? If so, why could you not tell us where it was? Where it was? Okay, if you're on X, I want you to put in the comments. One, if you believe him. Two, if you don't. If you're on YouTube, put it in the comments. One, if you believe him. Two, if you don't. Come on, let me see. See what everyone thinks. I'll see what everyone thinks on X maybe after I finish here. But let me know. Do you believe him? Because I don't. Right, let's... Oh, God. But... He knew by him the, he could hear the gravel beneath, beneath his feet. Yeah, okay. I could quite believe that. You can hear when people are walking on gravel or whatever. But I don't know. That story just not add up to me. How would you know he wouldn't have gone? He wouldn't have gone. If he was like me, he wouldn't have gone all the way down there. All the way. How far down? How do you know how far he would have gone? Has he actually been up there and seen how far down he'd go? Or like me, has he been on Google Maps? Right? And zoomed in. And seeing how far. But it's this phone pinging now that's getting me mad. You know what I mean? Why did she say it's the last ping came from here? And then the other day I heard that the last ping came from here. I think it's here. No, not there, sorry. The last ping came from round here. Then I was watching a YouTube last night and she put it up on the maps like this and she marked it all out. And she said, Jay said the last ping came from somewhere round about here. Or was it here? Somewhere round about this. But somewhere in this area. Right? 
Now, I still think these two guys maybe took his phone and put his phone up there. They could just walk to here and just threw it over. Or here, threw it over. Or even right here. Right, that's the hotel. Right, no, no, I'm not putting my little man down there yet. This is the, where the door is here to the Airbnb round here. They've only had to come down here, right? Walk down this little path all the way down here. Oh, look, look, they could throw his phone, throw his phone anywhere, it could be here. But as I said, right, if his body is found anywhere on the mountains, it's not going to be alive now, not after two weeks, not happening, right. So... I'm just curious, something just keeps coming to my mind and it's been going on all day. All day has been coming to my mind. I just keep thinking that now the search has been called off. I've just got this funny, funny feeling that Jay's going to turn up alive somewhere. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know why, because against all odds, he would be dead. Out there, he's going to be dead. Right, but I just get this funny, funny feeling that now that search has been called off, he's just going to turn up somewhere. It could be, hold on, let's go out. It could be up here some, somewhere. Right, all the way up here. Somewhere up here, or somewhere, oh God, I'm going to, somewhere down here, you know what I mean? Somewhere down here. I've just got this funny feeling, it's going to turn up and walk out and go, and then people's going to go, oh my God, we've been looking for you, where have you been? Oh, I don't know, I don't know where I've been, I've just been wandering around. I don't know what, I know it sounds totally ridiculous, but it's been stuck in my head all day just because the search has been called off. It's like, it's like they've said, you can't come out of hiding yet because the search, they're still looking for you. We'll let you know when the search is finished, sort of thing. And then all of a sudden, it's just going to turn up alive. Wandering around aimlessly. Lost. You know what I mean? It's not going to be by a church sitting on a bench or in a pub watching a football match. Even though Scotland are now on their way home. Anything else about Scotland is great, but the Scottish football? Pff, forget it. So. But I just, I do, I don't know why, I just keep having this niggly feeling this is going to happen. So, let's go back. Because I don't think he's up there. Hmm. Oh, God, trying to get off this. Trying to get off this is... For God's sake. I... 
I can't know. It's just. What? Your f what the fuck? Did you put that in there for? Didn't put that in there for. Take it off. Take it off. All right. So this is Baby's Hotel, his apartment's way around here. I've not really seen much of, of this place. I'm going to, not me. Let's have a look. Let's drop him in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where we're going, guys. I'm just going whatever way I want to go at the moment. Just having a wander around the area where he was supposed to be staying. I don't know where he was staying, so... So Greg's anyway. I couldn't live abroad if there was not a Greg's. I can go without McDonald's and Burger King, but I couldn't go without my Greg's. To be honest with you, if I was going to live abroad, I don't think I'd live in one of the towns. Not the big towns. I'd live out in the... I would live out somewhere like Masca. In a little village somewhere. So, I'll probably go in once a week, maybe to places like this, <laughs> against my wishes, but I'll probably go in once a week, just to say, I'm alive, I'm alive everyone, I'm still alive, but I just got this sneaky, I'm telling you what it is, and I hate when I get that feeling. But I just keep getting this feeling he's going to turn up alive now. The search has been turned, called off. But can he afford to do that now? Can he actually afford to come out of hiding and make out that he's been wandering around deliriously, scavenging off the ground? Right? And all this lot. Would he be able to do that for the police to believe him? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I really, but I do believe they need to start their focus back on here. Around here. Around here. I'm going. I'm just waiting for it to come up. I I need. I think I need to come and search around here. So it could have been there the argument because of that bend. There's definitely a bend. I'm trying. Let's see if I can find that. See if I can find that video game. <sighs> oh, come on. So many different TVs going around, it's unbelievable.
Come on. Um. Come on, I hate TikTok. Mm hmm. Trying to find that one with the uh, beach. Mm-hmm. This is so annoying. When did I take them off for some reason? Would they take take videos off if they thought those have ever any Evidential proof. Mmm, it's not showing. Can't find it anywhere. They're only playing the audio. I don't want the audio, I want the video. And I'm not showing it. So, as I said, nothing new is coming out on TikTok, which it could be a good thing. But I don't believe that lad. Get info on the UK general election. Don't think so. I'm not showing you that video anymore. Look, I'll share it with you so you can see. They are not showing that video anymore. Mm. 
No. This was 38 minutes ago by whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Someone could have gone down there, but it wasn't dry. It's not dry. I can't find that one anywhere. Cannot find you. No, I cannot find it. So, we're back at what I call ground zero because I truly believe something happened around here. Around here. We're on this beach somewhere. That's going the wrong way then. Hmm. 
Mm. I wish I could find that TikTok video again. Where the hell am I going? Get off. Get off. Get off. No. So this is Rhyme Days where the festival was being held. Rhyme Days somewhere. Don't know where. Possibly this place. I don't know. And then from there, they've gone up to here, which I heard was like an after party event sort of thing. And an argument ensued about a watch. Right? So I can't see them coming all the way back down to this beach. All this beach. All the way around there. So I truly do believe if the argument started here at this place about the watch, be it a watch or be it a code word for something else, right? Like you're going onto this beach. To talk about it right away from everyone onto the beach where it's quiet to talk about it and whatever there was going else there was going to do. Oh, that's a beach for swimming and sunset watching. Oh, sunset watching with your little sweetheart. Give me the bucket. I've seen a sunset. I don't know, I've seen a sunrise once in my whole... I wouldn't say it in my whole life. I've probably seen it more than once. But the sunrise I did see, and we was up really, really early to see it. And then we got back, and I literally fell asleep. <laughs> because we was up so early to see this flipping sunrise. Because we had to walk up to the beach area to fly. I don't know, oh God. And they sit there for like 10 minutes before the sun come up. I think, oh, really? But I truly believe it was this beach. No, this beach. I don't know what I just do. Because of the way it goes, it bends like that. When you see that video, Right, they're on the beach and there's a bend in the site in the beach. And it wasn't that way. It was like you imagine standing there, that's where they could be say. It was that way. You can see it in that picture, in that video. So it could have been over here. Right, and if it was here, then whoever took the video of it could have been from all oh, those apartments over there. I can't believe they let me hang on this bit here yeah? because I'm in the water. What's wrong? Right, I'm just trying to figure out what beach it would have been and where it would have been took from. Right, now on that road. So see, there's a bit. See how I mean? It goes like that, bend. And it's like when you see this fight happening, you can see the bend in the beach with the tide. So if it was on this beach, it was round about here because you saw that bend. So it was round about here. But then the video went off to that side and we're going to get the video back and then he comes back but then cuts off so could this be the beach where that fight was happening right possibly and if so who was 
Because it come from one of these apartments up here where they videoing it. Because it was quite a distance away. Definitely quite a distance. So it could have been one of these apartments up here. And I wouldn't say it was one of them. Because whoever was filming had the camera pointing outwards and then went over that way. If they was filming from there, they wouldn't have been able to get that shutting over that side. So somewhere, if it is that beach, some you know, it's apartment on the left-hand side, or right-hand corner, I should say, from the apartment building at the front. But we don't know, because the video isn't very clear. But I just, it's just, this is just me coming up with ideas, because why would, right, you're having an argument at this place, right? You're having an argument in here. Yeah, we've all been there. Do you want to take this outside? Come on. Outside, no. We've all been there. Right, so this fight has been ensued. They've gone outside. They've gone over to the beach. Away from everyone else. Something's happened and we heard, I'm not saying it's this beach. I'm not saying it's this beach. I'm just saying plausible. Something happened because we can tell her voice. We know it's her voice. And she's going, you said you wasn't going to you stab him. Or you wasn't going to use a knife or something like that. Whatever it was she said now. But then you see someone on the floor, which I believe is Lucy May. And then you see someone hobbling around. So if that was Jay and he got injured, right? All he had to do was say, I got, I got attacked on the beach. I don't know who it was. I was just coming out of the club. was going along the beach, walking along the beach. And someone attacked me and I got stabbed in the leg. You know what I mean? So I will be checking, not for Jay, but for anyone else with stab wounds, knife wounds to the leg from the Sunday night, Monday morning. Because if you've got a knife wound, you need to get stitches. Because if not, you could get an infection. So if someone loses a leg because it drops off from an infection, you know why. Okay? Just saying, just saying. But I truly believe it was possibly this beach. I may be wrong. I may be totally wrong. But I just think if the fight, if the argument started in here, in this place, right, in this place, if an argument started in here, Thing. There would be a lot of people outside because there always is on place like that. But they're not looking over here at the beach, are they? They're too busy drinking and having fun and dancing and whatever else. So if they've gone over to the beach to have this man on man fight, you know what I mean? It just seems, that seems, this incident on the beach seems more plausible to me than him going off with these two men that he did know. Not that he didn't know them, he did know them. They all knew him. They all knew these two guys. Right, so why was Lucy making out that she didn't know these two guys when they did? They knew these two guys. So again, Lucy... Why was she lying? 
Why didn't she say, well, I knew the two guys, I know where they lived. Why? Oh, I knew these two guys. Oh, we're forgetting. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're forgetting, aren't we? She left early. Alone. But you know what, Lucy? We've got you on video at the NRG Festival. Or wherever, or the after party. The after party, I think it was. I'm not sure now. Where you left early because she was so tired. But you left early. But we've got you on video talking to Jay just before he leaves the club. So we've got you there. So either way, we've got you. Plus, if that is you on the beach, which I think if we did a full stress test, we'd find it was Lucy. Then it couldn't be you, could it though, Lucy? Because you went home alone early. Don't forget that, everyone. She left early alone. Right, so she wouldn't know about these two guys that he left with because she left early. Right? Brad wanted him to come back, but he didn't want to. He wanted to carry on partying. But when they got back to their place in Moscow, the two guys went to bed. And he was going to come home because apparently he was messaging I don't know, now those messages that come out because I think it was Brad's mother was talking about it, some messages. And how Brad had been telling him, when you get there, right? So Brad must have left before he left because Brad was messaging him saying, when you get there, put your phone on charge. What? A 19-year-old is telling a 19-year-old to put your phone on charge. What are you, my mum? That's what I'd be saying. I'd be saying to my friends, you're my mum. Stop telling me what to do. But apparently, Brad told him when he gets there to let him know, which he did, right? Because he said that when he got there, the two guys went to bed. He was going to come back home. And Brad said, you might as well stop there now or something like that. So he went to sleep. And But Brad said, before he went to sleep, he said, told him to put his phone on charge. So Brad apparently knew his phone needed charging. He's a young lad who's just come out of a nightclub. Probably peed out of his head as well. And the first thing he's going to remember, oh, Jay, Jay, don't forget, put your phone on charge. Is it how? Is it how? So all this that's coming out that apparently he was messaging him after he went back to his hotel room and he's saying, let me know when you get there and all this stuff. BS. Because this is like what a mother would say. I say to my kids, let me know when you get home. Like if they come and visit me, like when my daughter comes to visit me, let me know when you get home. All right, so I know you got there all safe. I say it all the time, don't forget to put your phone on charge, you'll need it in the morning. That's the sort of thing a mum would say. Not a 19-year-old friend. So that is BS as well. Right. So nothing that's come out of that, out of uh, Brad's mouth, or even his mother's mouth, as I believe it was his mother who was saying, this is what Brad told her, or whatever. Is, is believable. I really don't. But 
If you can't trust your child at 19 to go abroad, have fun, yes, but be responsible. Then what the hell have you done in your life with your child? If you've not taught your child some responsibilities of life, have fun, but be responsible. Don't leave a friend behind. If you go out with them, you come home with them. I, I remember when I was pregnant with my son. I was quite heavily pregnant as well. And I think I'd been at work. Yeah, I was still at work at the time. And I've just finished on a Friday because I never went to the pub in a week because I used to do like what they called the twilight shift, which was one in the afternoon till, was it 10.30? 10.30 at night or 11 p.m. 11, right? So I wasn't getting home till around about 11 till 11.30 p.m. on the night. But on a Friday, we only worked at 8.30. So I'd get home, right? And what? Was I pregnant? Yeah, I was, yes. No, I wasn't heavily pregnant. I was pregnant, but not heavily pregnant. Sorry. And at the time, me and my husband had a, had a little spat. So I moved out and moved in with my mum, moved back in with my mum. So that's why I was at home, that was it. And it was on a Friday night, and I come home from work, and I went home, got washed, got changed, and went round the pub. Just have some orange juice, just to chill out for a bit. And my sister said, oh, we're going uptown. I'm going, no, you're not. No, you're not. You've had way too much to drink. You're not going uptown. We are, we are. Do you want to come with us? And I'm going, not really. You know what I mean? I'm pretty, I didn't feel like going night like, clubbing in. And she said, well, I'm going. I went, well, you know what? I'll come with you. So I went with her to make sure that when she left, right, that um, she got her, we got her home safely. No way was I going to let her go to the nightclub with her friends. I know what friends are like, they desert you at the last minute. Right, and you're left on your own. So, no, um, so I won't even let my sister go to the nightclub on her without me being with her. As I said, I was pregnant. I was about what? Three months. Uh, five, mm -hmm. Yeah, getting on for about three months pregnant. Yeah. So, you could tell I was pregnant, but not heavily pregnant. I just had a bit of a bump. And now I still have that bit of bump because that bump has not gone. Anyway, so... If you go out with a friends, if you go out with friends, you stay with friends, you come home with friends. You don't let him leave him. I'm sorry, he, Brad had left him there. Because why would you say he, was text, he sent him a message saying, don't forget to put your phone on charge when you get there. And let me know when you get there and don't forget to put your phone on charge. So, what Brad said, or what Brad's mum said, that Brad said, I don't believe that, because that what he's saying is, let me know when you get there, don't forget to put your phone on charge, that is the sort of thing a mother says to a child, their, their child, their son. You know what I mean? No, it didn't happen. And as I said, because they knew those guys, they knew those guys. It wasn't as if they didn't know them, Lucy. Making out you didn't know them. Again, distancing yourself from them. Right? Um, 
What's I saying? Um, he could have been at that Airbnb any morning. He could have been there Saturday morning, Sunday morning. You know what I mean? Snapchat photos, unless you save them, will disappear. And when you've saved them, you can go into your photos and edit the place, the time, everything. You can edit the time. So if you want a photo to show, say, I took a photo to you guys of my cat. But I want it to show, oh, I should have shown, done that photo today, it needs to be done tomorrow. I could go into my photos and edit the time. Tomorrow I could go in and edit the time and change the date on it. I could even change the place where it was taken. So Snapchat photos being saved to your phone means nothing to me. No photos mean nothing to me because I now know you can go in and change the date, the time, the place. You can edit all that info on a photo. So if you want to prove someone's alive, oh look, here it is, here's a photo everyone, look he's alive. That could have been a photo you took two days ago and you've just changed it to today's date. That's all you've done, changed it to today's date, today's time and whatever location you want to put him at. And how do I know this? Because we, I was watching a, a channel ages ago, is it last year or early this year? And they was talking about um, a case, right? And how these guys, these people, have, the police have gotten targeted as the, the people involved. And these people are saying, oh, but we was at this place at this time and we was here at this time and we was here at that time. And this woman come on and she's done a video on it, showed her phone on her live and showed us how you can go onto your pictures and edit the date, the time and the place. You can edit it all. So I don't believe in photos no more. Someone gives me a photo as proof, I go, prove you haven't edited the info. Prove to me that you haven't gone into your... You have to go, I oh, wouldn't have had to do that. You mess about a long enough with a photo, the information comes up and you can edit it. You know you can. Anyone can do it. I'm sure my six-year-old grandsons could do it. Well, he's one seven now and one's still six. Why? But I'm sure they could do it if they really wanted to. So I don't trust photos. Even, I'm not sure about videos. I don't know if you can edit and change a video. I'd have to look into that one. I have got some videos on my phone. I might have a look to see what happens when I try and edit, if I can edit them. But photos, I don't trust. I really don't. So as I said, that was a Snapchat photo of him standing on the doorstep. That could be changed to any day. So that could have been took on Saturday morning or Sunday morning. They got there Thursday and met the guys on Thursday night. That could have even been took on Friday morning. You know what I mean? So they've had plenty of opportunity to have that photo Snapchat and then alter the time, the date. Not the place. Just the time and place, time and date. Right, so I don't know about this. Could this be the beach where the argument was? It makes more sense to me if the as I said, if the argument was going here in this place. Why? There's the name of the place, that's where the like, after party was or something. There's several after parties going on at different places. Right, and I was went to this one. And then there's an argument. They've come out on the beach. 
something happened. But I, I wonder if they have looked into the hospitals. Two weeks now. They still have records of someone. If someone turned up at a hospital with a wound to their leg. And I don't know what it's like in Spain, but I know in the UK, if someone turns up at a hospital with a, a knife wound, or what they believe is a knife wound, even though you might have some like say, oh, I cut my hand on glass. Right? Oh, I slipped and fell on some glass and cut my leg. You know what I mean? They can tell when it's a knife wound. They are mandatory, apparently, to inform the police. I don't know how true that is. Because I could imagine the police getting a lot of phone calls every weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the amount of stack knife wounds that go on in the UK is unbelievable. Unbelievable. There are gun wounds as well, but it's more knife wounds in, in the UK. A lot more knife wounds. Because they're easy to carry. So, I'm going to leave it at there. And you have an early night, thank God. I need an early night. I need some early nights. Because, as I said, there's nothing new coming out. As the, invest the search has finished, even though down the rapids is still up there searching. And it will be for another couple of weeks at least. So we can follow him. Um, I don't know what else. There's nothing new on my books come up yet to talk about. If there's anyone who wants me to look into anything, into a case, let me know. Leave me a message. I'll look into it. Right? Anything in the UK that's happening, let me know. I will look into it. Right, uh, I'm not going to go into the background of Jay Slater because that's just flogging a dead horse, you know what I mean? We're not going to get anywhere with that, so it's pointless dragging all that up again. Even the guy who got attacked has said, stop going on about him and, the inci and that incident. Let's focus on finding Jay. Now, I think that was really nice of him to say that, being as he nearly lost his life to him and his seven little cronies. cronies. But, so I'm not going to look into his after, past life. I'm not. I could, but that isn't going to help the case. That isn't going to help find Jay. Right? And as I said, there's no, if there's new information come out tonight or tomorrow, then I'll do another live tomorrow night. And you'll see my, I don't know if it lets you know on Twitter. It'll just say when it starts, you know what I mean? Well, on YouTube, it, it just sent out to all my sub subscribers that I'm going live. Right. So, as I said, I'm going to leave it at that and let you think about it. And as, if you have any other cases you'd like me to look into, Please let me know. I will look into it. Okay? If you're on X, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you're on YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I really love you all for being here. Show me some love on X. Leave me a comment. Um, if you're on YouTube, give me a like. Share this video. Share this video. Right? Um, leave a comment, and as I said, I do get back to my people who comment. I do. Right? So, until then, I will leave you and say good night. But if you haven't already, please subscribe. It just informs you when I go live again. And cost you anything. If you're on X, please come over to YouTube. It's a fun place. 
and if you're on YouTube watching and you're on replay, if you like what you hear and see, please give this video a like and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.